Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Colby Brock becoming possessed in Sam and Colby's Hell Week. Now I say possessed um, because they went live on Instagram before Hell Week dropped and Sam talked about how Colby got possessed and then Colby retracts it and is like, well, I actually didn't really get possessed but this is what sort of happened. Uh, so we're going to be going over that and also I'm going to be showing you the clip of him very disorientated. He looks violently ill like he got possessed, uh, which is in the trailer. And then we're going going to be covering the first episode and my theory as to what caused Colby to be in this state. I believe there is one entity that really just made him this way and it's surprising that it attacked Colby instead of Sam because I'm also going to be going over the challenges they set for each other in Hell Week and you know the, the challenge Colby gave Sam is messed up but apparently I think he got you know in this state possessed because of the challenge Sam gave him so we're going to be going over that as well but if you guys actually haven't seen the first episode of Hell Week please do not watch this video it contains spoilers go watch it uh the second video just dropped this morning for me I haven't watched it yet so if there's more information on this from that episode I will cover it again so make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and if you have already been subscribed to my channel and been watching my videos I finally got a mic I don't have to use this headset mic anymore okay we've got the good comments commentary happening hopefully this is better for you all um but the first thing we're going to be looking at is the trailer unfortunately it's on x and it's in 720p there's nothing i can do about it okay what's up guys it's sam mccoy and welcome to howie the ferrara elementary school is alive can we just talk about how good this trailer is it's oh my god did you just see that where I had a child figure standing right in front of me. Whoa! What is that? Something also, if you guys have seen on TikTok, I'm sorry to keep pausing this. Obviously, this is very bad quality, this video. Uh, so I can't enhance the quality to show you what I'm talking about. But just in this scene before, someone caught like a figure actually here and then hiding away from the trailer clip. So they caught something on camera, which we'll see in the episode that released today, which I will cover. Just subscribe to me. I'm covering everything when I get caught up in it. I just got back from my two-week holiday. So apologies, but let's keep watching and see Colby in the possessed state. Something just went into the boiler room. Ring the bell. No. Oh, did you just see that thing levitating? What? What the fuck? Okay, this is the part, by the Dude, way. No, this was not a good idea. Oh, see what I mean? He looks so out of it, bro. Like, he's got, like, dark circles around his eyes and... Dude, no. This was not a good idea. I don't know if that chick talking is, um, like a maybe a psychic or a medium. It doesn't sound like Selena Spooky Boo, but it kind of, she has the height and sort of look for her, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure this is happening in the last episode. But yeah, that's the trailer. That's where Colby is apparently possessed. But this is the live video they did talking about it. So let's see. A school in Iowa and lived in it for a week. And this mother got possessed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, I wouldn't call it a possession. Let's just say um, we had some challenges for each other just like last year, and it got pretty crazy. And um, yeah, the last episode was not fun for me, but I don't want to spoil it. You guys just have to watch. Okay, well, that's the end of the clip. Something happened because of the challenge. So now that we know what this possession is from, sort of, we're going to look at the challenges they set for each other, okay? But first, we have some challenges that we promised each other. We're going to write down right now. You're going to hate me. I didn't do anything mm -hmm. to you last year. Oh, really? Nothing? I didn't do anything to you either. This is kind of cruel, but last year, Colby made me sleep alone in the basement of the Conjuring House. That's so, so I feel bad. like he deserves it. The most negative energy is supposedly in the boiler room. My challenge for Colby is that he must be hogtied alone in the boiler room. Sweet. I need to look up what hogtied is because I don't know. Okay, hogtied. Uh, to make it difficult or impossible for someone to do something. So I, oh my god, I just, <laughs> this is the thing that's come up here. I'm going to images. Please don't. What? Oh, is that what it is? I don't want to like click see on any of these images. It's not letting me view it. View image. Oh, okay. Guys, this is Hog tying, by the way. Except all the other images here are people naked. That's messed up. That's definitely 
that makes so much sense. Um, also, let me go back to the trailer, because I swear they said something about the boiler room. Oh, what is that? Something just went into the boiler room. Yeah, see? The figure went into the boiler room, so definitely very active there. Okay, hogtied. Alright, let's keep... Let's keep watching the other challenge. We literally won't even be able to escape if he tried. So I literally have been thinking about this challenge all day because last year Sam gave me a mean challenge and I will never forget it. Last night's investigation at the cemetery really confused me and I'm not sure if it's haunted or not, but I still think it's probably the source of why Farrar could be so paranormally active. So in order to rile up and maybe trigger the spirits, Sam must dig his own grave in the back of the school and then do the Estes method. If the spirits mm. don't want to come out of their graves to talk to us, then maybe Sam has to go into the ground to talk to them. That's a very cool challenge. I do respect that one. Uh, Sam's is definitely worse for Colby. I can't believe he wrote that down as a challenge. Hogtied? Bro, I can't even- I can't even look up what that is without it being censored, except for one image. And the second link is P-O-R-N. Oh my god, Sam. Okay, well, that's lit. So, we're gonna talk about my theory as to why, or what I should say, got to Colby. Now, it makes sense as it would be something in the boiler room and let's just see what's actually in the boiler room. Let's go over that. A couple of guys that we have talked to before we walked in said that this is the area that emits all the negative senses. Yeah, there's some sort of malevolent energy in here. Mm. Imagine it's a succubus and Colby deals with that. I mean, he's hogtied, so God, I can't believe Sam set that as his challenge. Fuck. Looks like there was like almost like a seance room. Oh, sick. Yep, first red flag again. Uh, imagine Colby's doing the hog tie right here. I can't believe they're doing that. Definitely where people play the Ouija board. Even without equipment, I'm already getting a much, much more negative vibe here. Like, just stillness. Like, I'm, I don't know. It just feels off. Yeah. Let's break out the equipment and try to figure it out. Let's do it. Since this was just a test, we didn't record our entire investigation yet. So they filmed this two months ago and they were just like sort of checking that this place was actually haunted prior to buying it or this, they may have already bought it and you know, they were just sussing it out. But midway through the SS method, we got a terrifying message. Um, it just said we want you. Do Ooh. you know who we are? Well, it's going to get Colby soon enough. My name is Sam and this is Colby. Do you know who I we know. are? Oh, okay. There's also a theory with this clip, okay? I'm gonna talk about it after. Where did you come from? <laughs> something just made a noise in the boiler room. Mm. I th for some reason, I just feel like it's trying to scare us or something like that. Also, hang on, let me... So a boiler room uh, is pretty simple. It's to provide heat and hot water for the entire like campus, school, whatever. So if you guys know in paranormal sort of stuff, uh, places with a lot of water, it holds a lot of energy. So a lot of paranormal activity happens there. So I think that's why the boiler room is very active. I'm not sure why it's malevolent. I forget what floor it's on. I think it's on the ground floor where the gym is, right? Because it looked like the triplets and that were sitting in the gym and then the boiler room is down there where that figure went in. Okay, that's just just for context, but let's keep watching. I never left. Okay, that uh people think that that could be Sally from the Sally house and it's never left Sam. That little girl demon, yeah. Well, if you guys remember, apparently Sally actually attached herself to Faye's rug, I believe, in that one video. You know, she left Sam alone, but maybe she's still there. Or maybe it could be another demon. I forgot what other demons have sort of lingered around Sam. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but that's the theory. What the fuck? As you can see, right off the bat, we could tell something about this place was dark. So I reckon there's a portal down there too. If, like it never left then you know it either never left the school or it never left sam and colby we immediately <clears> signed <throat> all the papers needed when we got home to get started <laughs> they're like yeah this place is fucking demonic let's buy it so there's not much information on the boiler room again i do actually have to watch the second episode which got released today because they may investigate that room because i believe in this episode they didn't really go in there they were sort of just walking around sussing out the principal's office and stuff which is my theory i believe it could be the principal who is giving a hard time on colby but if that's not the case it could be 
just a demon down there it could be sally so from what we've heard the principal is like is the leader of the school in regards to like all the spirits there right and apparently he's a really tall figure and he's not nice you have to get on his like good side so i'm sure he's like a nice spirit once you like sort of you know connect with him at this stage he sort of seems like a scary entity and very large one at that and they actually capture him allegedly uh, on the thermal camera as they're outside doing the Estes method Sam captures it so we're gonna watch that they didn't even realize that they caught the figure in the principal's office which leads to believe it's the principal but if something is that powerful that it can show itself on a thermal camera and have that much energy I believe that could be you know what could be attacking Colby especially because they're trying to like own the school right they just bought it they're the new owners they're trying to let all the spirits know that this is the case the principal might feel threatened they're like you know what you're hogtied in the boiler room I'm gonna get you and you're gonna get fucked on not like that <laughs> exclusive. exclusive no here. watching She's yeah right so it there. says watching where 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 show yourself addict <laughs> Looper. Oh, addict! They, like it's up high. So the principal's office is like essentially on the top floor. Interesting. Loop around. It's like something else is telling Sam where to look. Around. Terrible. <laughs> He's terrible. He's showing yourself. I think they're saying Sam's terrible, trying to navigate. <laughs> What's going Eyes. on? Oh. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Dude, dude, dude. Holy shit, doesn't that look like a person? He, you, you just got out and you said show yourself and he's, he's there? Guys. Bro, Sam is freaking out right now. He's like, whoa, whoa, what is that? I mean, I would freak out too. It's very rare to capture something on a thermal camera. The other time they only caught something was at the Conjuring house and they got the face. Why did that just change? Okay, something's haunting my computer. I've been doing too many scary videos. The face of the boy at the Conjuring house, and that was a clear shot like that was insane oh, which window was Guys, that? Look, look all these windows i just i just snapped a picture all these windows look like there's nothing there and there's this fat fucking blob is that <laughs> that fucking blob bro yeah real not like a like a some sort of blob wait maybe maybe i love how he just runs here. inside he's like no there, one was it here wait wait look, look at this look, this, <laughs> second, this, photo. this is the entire other side of the school i'm literally shaking isn't that some sort of like heat thing in that window almost like someone's standing there okay so the, yeah all these are black and then this one has something oh my god dude it literally looks like someone's standing right there Wait, oh. it's still there yes it's it looks like there's like some sort of like uh mirage or like fog or something like standing yeah in the window. you can still see it there right there that's weird what do you think there's a person I don't know. It looks like something's actually watching. <laughs> you actually just said that. You said looking or watching over you or something like that. Bro, it's on a mission. He's running inside. Wait, I just want to check something real quick. Hey, Zach? Zach, you're in here? You didn't leave this the entire, the entire time? No. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, someone is upstairs in one of these windows. I guarantee you. I'm gonna leave this uncut. Are you sure that's a person? No, I mean, no, it just looks like a fat blob or something like that. Wait, wait, let's see this. A blob. So these are all the surrounding windows, and yeah. for some reason, there's that. That was not there the entire time. Wait, you were looking at that window before and uh, nothing was there? I had, I had the thermal on the entire time. Wait, that's in the principal's office. That's in the principal's office. The realization. Yeah, so something could be lurking in the principal's office that attacks Colby, but... You, you were saying that, like, there's some, I don't know, like, as someone in charge, or like a leader? Well, that's what we've been saying this entire time. What's that? That's gonna be in one of these. Is it in that room there? It wasn't this one, though? What? Oh, shit. Dude, what the fuck? This is insane. Like, that is 100% someone standing, like, right here. I took a second one, look. That, that's the entire side so yeah that'd be like really hot like something standing there go the on okay there's definitely something that in there, is something but, like, there we have never captured anything <laughs> on the thermal besides like the conjuring, the conjuring. okay yes that's not a conjuring face but that is literally something there you guys, okay we need to like zoom in we're gonna, I, pop I need to up, see that. we're gonna pop up both these pictures on screen guys you can tell me what it is but dude you literally said something about like watching and like scared of, uh, him and in literally the principal's office something is standing 
Yeah, look, if we go back to the A him and in literally the principal's office, something. Notice how, like, there's this part here and then something was standing here. And you can see, like, the cutoff on the thermal. So, oh, imagine you're outside doing Estes and these other spirits are telling you, like, he's right there, he's watching, he's over there. And then you just capture that. Fuck no, bro. It's like the other spirits are trying to, like, maybe warn them that, you know, he's out to get you, bro. He's watching, he doesn't like it, blah, blah, blah. And then they run up into the office and they're like, <laughs> which is quite funny. But upon further analysis of everything, I think my theory of the principal being the one to attack Colby mightn't be the case okay after re-going over the boiler room situation where you know Colby gets hogtied and that's probably why he gets possessed there's got to be something else in there it said it never left so it could be you know a portal that's down there and Sally's maybe come back through or it could be something just dark that has been at the school for some time that maybe came there through a seance because there were all those chairs sitting around in a circle and Sam was like yo people have been doing seances in here with Ouija boards could be from that I don't think in any video either of them have gotten that bad in a state I know with the conjuring house Sam got very upset to be affected like that mentally or like physically from a demonic entity I don't think we've seen that yet so it's just crazy that they own the school and they can really find out like how everything works they can do as many experiments as they want find out like what's the go with the paranormal world and the other side and how ghosts work and stuff even I won't show the whole thing but there's a new paranormal method they were doing and this guy has like his laptop out and essentially it's like a spirit box but it cuts out all the static it's not like a radio but it's picking up voices and they're so clear and they respond so on point with what they're asking and they sound like little kids when they respond back and I hope we get to see more of this method in their future videos or like this gets introduced more into the paranormal world because it's crazy it's like you know hearing this investigation slot here that they've done it seems like you know we've got our universe where we're alive and then the spirits have their own sort of world where they're still living I guess and they're interacting with each other but they can sort of connect with us and contact us if they want to but they can shut us out kind of thing because at one point they're like yeah we don't want to talk to you we have each other um which was interesting but we can sort of do the same thing as well like if we want, if we want to talk to ghosts we can just whip out the spirit box and stuff flashlights and talk to them it's just weird and i hope they crack down on how it worked they need this guy back in i don't know how they found him but this guy is gonna change the world hopefully okay <laughs> we said that with the code in satori method but they never wanted to prove their method so this guy is the new f guy we're gonna be looking out for okay but now i'm yapping so i'm gonna end the video here let me know what you guys think colby got possessed over if you have seen that second episode then you know there might be more tea in that but that's why you need to subscribe because i'll be covering everything as soon as i've watched it and i have more things to cover so turn on post notifications as well please make sure to follow my social media down below leave a thumbs up i don't know if i already said that uh but yeah appreciate y'all for watching and uh happy hell week stay tuned for the last episode rip colby bye bye